so hello guys so as you can see in the intro how broken one may is and today uh i'm going to uh uh do a full one may guide on this video so uh let's get started first of all uh one may let's talk about one may um let's talk about her skill so as we saw uh, in the earlier footage, uh, her skill, when Ronme gains, after Ronme uses her skill, it will, it will last for 3 turns. So this duration decreases by 1 turn at the start of Ronme turn. When Ronme has over, overtune, all allies damage increase by 24, 22.4 and increases break efficiency. So basically, when she uses her skill, it will last for three turns, and this du uh, it will uh, the duration will decrease by one turn at the start. Uh, so at the start, it will decrease by one. So when one man has overtune, uh, then all allies uh, damage increases by this and break efficiency increases by that. But her talent, on her talent, it's basically very simple. She increases her speed, increases speed by this percent and when allies break an enemy target weakness one man deals to this to that enemy target break equal to of her ice damage so basically on her talent she increases speed uh, of certain character or actually it's for the whole team she increases speed and not only does that uh, she breaks an enemy target weakness and she deals uh, uh, break damage equal to her ice damage. Uh, so that's what her talent does. Her basic attack is very normal. She does she does ice damage equal to of her one maze attack. So basically, she does ice damage for a uh, single target. Yeah. So that's what her talent does. Her ultimate is basically. Uh, one may deploys a field that will last for two turns. The field duration decreases by one at the start for turn. While inside that field, when one may uses her ultimate, it increases within that field. It increases all parties uh, resistant penetration by a certain amount of percentage. Uh, and not only just that, it will delay enemies uh, turn by I think by one turn it will delay their action by one turn uh, when it does the weakness break um, so delaying their action equal to 20% uh, of one match break effect and dealing break damage of uh, based on one mess ice uh, uh, da uh, break damage so that is actually insane that is actually insane um, this is actually really insane. Her bonus ability in here, as you can see, in battle, for every 10% of one maze break effect that exceed 120%. So basically, if you have uh, if you have more than 120% break effect on your one maze, um, it uh, she if after she uses her skill, it will increase all uh, allies, all party members' damage by six percent. Up to, uh, and it will um, up to maximum of 36% so if you divide 36 multiply by 6 that's a lot of damage in her disability as you can see one may regenerate 5 energy at the start of her turn so at the start of the battle she will regenerate 5 energy uh, this ability uh, increases break effect by 20% 20 for, 20 for all allies so she increases break effect by 20% for all the party members this is this does not count for her for her it counts for the party members only relics all right in the relic section our best relic set would be probably two piece hacker space and two piece break effect uh two piece hacker space and two piece thief of shooting uh, meteor and two piece it increases speed by six percent on this two piece it increases break effect since one may scales of break effect try to get as many as break effect as possible all right as you can see in here i have a lot of break effect 
all right so try to get break effect in here uh as, as much as break effect you can from the substats on the body piece you need hp all right try to get hp as well as speed on the uh boot you have to use a speed speed boot all right on the planet sphere i would recommend to use you uh use uh hp for survivability you can also use defense uh if you want to uh on the link rope i always recommend to using energy region our best planner ornament is probably gonna be this one thalia kingdom of banditry i don't have those pieces uh but i'm gonna farm it it increases the break effect by 16 percent the two piece break effect increases break effect by 16 percent when the wearer reaches 145 or higher the break effect increases by extra 20 percent so try to get one uh, at least uh 145 speed i have 141 i can get uh oh damn i'm very close actually getting 145 speed so i have 144 so i can get 145 speed i just have to change some relics that i think i can get 145 speed so if so if you get 145 speed you can actually get extra let me see extra 20 percent break effect so that is actually really good so try to get that 145 speed try to aim for 145 speed on one may i have 145 i can i can easily get 145 but yeah try to get that on her light cones if you have this light cone you don't need basic you don't need to pull on her signature light cone so if you have memories of the past if you even even if you have a single copy then you should definitely I would recommend not to pull on the light cone or signature light cone. So if you have a even if a single uh copy, that will do. Alright. This is her best in slot light cone. Uh it it is quite equal to I would say her S5. The S5 is equal to her signature light cone. The S1 is a little bit, you know, downside. Not so much downside, but little bit because um, if in S5 you can get like around 65 or 63 or 65 I think or maybe more uh, I think around more than 60 you can get break effect increases breaker by 60 so yeah uh, you, I mean yeah if you don't have this light cone then you might have to pull for the uh, her signature light cone so keep that in mind all right her best in slot idolons is probably gonna be her E1. Her E1 is literally the best uh, so far because when she uses her ultimate uh, and within the ultimate field, all allies uh, they ignore enemies uh, enemies uh, uh, defense. It, it, they ignore twenty percent of target defense. So. On her E1, when she uses her ultimate, the damage dealt by all allies ignores 20% of the target defense. So that, so basically, what he's saying is, all the allies ignore the enemy's uh, target uh, defense. So basically, 20% of the defense was they're ignoring. That's actually insane. That's cr cracked. Try to, well, if if you're not pulling for her light cone, definitely go for her. Uh, Eidolons, her Eidolons are insane. Her E2, with Ronme on the field, all allies increase their attack by 40% when dealing damage to enemies with weakness race. So, whenever she does uh, damage to enemies with the weakness rate, all allies' attack will be increased by 40%. So, I think uh, that isn't, I think that's for the whole battle, I believe. So it's nice not limited it's like for the whole cycle so that's insane her c3 is basically level of the talent increases her talent level her, her e4 her e3 talent, uh, increases talent level her e4 when an enemy target weakness is broken one may break effect increases by 100 percent for three turns that's actually crap that is actually crap so whenever she uh, weakness break an enemy uh her break effect increases by 100 percent so imagine if you have 141 or 150 or 160 break effect that's like 100 260 break effect that's insane her e5 increases talent level by 
3 uh, or E6. Extend the duration of the ultimate field by 1%. The talent break damage multiplier increases by 200%. Okay, so it extends the duration of the. So when she or she uses her ultimate, the talent break damage multiplier additionally increases by 200%. That's really insane. So it will. Uh, the all type registration penetration will do 200% additional damage. Uh, it will multiply by 200 percent so that's insane this is cracked it's cracked all right so guys uh that's the one may build for that's the one may build for you and uh just like i said try to get as many yes break effect your target should be around like 160 break effect and try to get uh above 145 speed your speed should be 145 all right one way best team come is probably gonna be probably gonna be her uh jinglu this team come is really insane because one way is basically really good with jinglu he's good with basically all team comms like himiko you can use her with himiko even kafka even jingyeon even imba battle lune it doesn't even matter like she's very universal she's very flexible character you know so but yeah she is really good with jinglu very very good you can even use her with you can even use her with uh jingyeon you can even use her with jingyeon you can even use her with jinglu in by battle lune like it doesn't really matter like she is very universal very very universal you can even use her with silver wolf like that's how even with kafka you can use her with kafka Yumiko well it's like it doesn't really matter like so yeah she's very universal she's very flexible would you pull for one man i definitely think you should pull for one man i think one man is is a matter changing is a matter defining character in honkai star Rail. uh she's gonna be the future proof for, for the end game and i think she is a must pull character in my opinion if if, if you can get one man you would not regret pulling for her because she is so 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 good i highly recommend pulling for one may i think she's gonna i think she's a uh, game changing in honkai star Rail. she is the real deal guys go for her don't even think about it just pull her all right if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next peace out